Northdale provides work-based activities for vulnerable adults. So predominantly adults with learning disabilities and uh, some and or physical disabilities, but we also provide services for people with mental health problems too. Northdale's grown from its original sort of offer of horticulture, predominantly in a bit of woodwork, to really, I think we do about seven different work disciplines now, from catering and, you know, uh, all sorts of, of different activities. And we found that the broader the range of activities we offer, the better we meet individual people's needs. Go to this lady's house, doing honey, honey basket, flowers, put things in, nice, nice, nice neatly piled and cleaning no, cleaning the pup path with Angela. Yeah. Uh, Tarting. Blank. I feel really honoured to have my role at Northdale because it doesn't involve a lot of desk work and a lot of paperwork so I'm out with the guys laughing every day I got a real big variety of tasks so one day I could be cooking sausages in the woods with them another day I could be doing a little old ladies garden the next day we're doing a drama group we, we discussed it and said let's do a pantomime I think the original one was here uh, in, our, in our canteen and um, we just took Wednesday afternoons and said let's rehearse this thing uh, and Jane wrote it and rehearsed it with the guys and um, it was an instant hit. It's a true celebration of the trainees' all unique talents and for once a year it's a real celebration of who they really are. It's a little chaotic. We started running, running a drama group on the morning, which is enhancing their acting skills. Wipe your wing on your face, because that was hard work. Ooh. Yeah? Keeping the sort of core ethos of the organisation there, which is about the value of work, you know, and, and people coming along and having a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning, a sense of belonging and being in a sort of mutually respectful space where they can just be themselves. Martin came to us from Scotland about six years ago. Him and his dad moved up from Scotland. And it was just, I haven't really taught Martin anything about drama. He teaches me more about drama than I teach him. He's just an absolute natural at being in front of the camera and reading other people and interacting and ad-libbing. He's just, just really found his mark, you know. He, He's, and it's very, it's very emergent, you know, he's just suddenly found that he's got great timing, he's got great natural humour, and he absolutely adores it, you know, it, it's really big part of his year now. And he's lovely to act against, you know, he, he's just very dramatic, and he, his timing's right, and his comedy's great, and so it's good. Martin's main strength in life is his acting and it's a real privilege to be able to give him the opportunity to be able to express themselves creatively. I, I am dragged to it, you know, unwillingly, you know. I, I, no, it's, I love it. I love the opportunity to put on a dress and a pair of tights is always a good thing. Oh, look at these useless chocolate eggs. I'm going to get the plunger out soon. Yes! Oh, no, no. Right. Oh, 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 oh. 
such light relief to the day job. You know, it, it, it works well. Although when I take people around, they do wonder, because I walk into a room and everyone goes boo, and it's like, <laughs> you're a really bad boss. The trainees absolutely love him. Uh, it really does lift the panto, Simon's interaction. And it's just, his baddiness has grown throughout each panto season. I tell you what, actually, you can write lectures. He's on it! It's like this every year, and I say every year, never again, but something truly magical does happen on the night, and I forget all the grey hairs and chaos and worry. <laughs> It's a silly and I got all calm. I hear you no fail. I don't know how to turn. I did it first. I did 60 years. So we, we've expanded quite a lot, really. Um, I think when I came along, we had about 32 clients. I think we've got about 70 now, um, plus a hub. So we were sort of 100 plus now. Um, but it's been a very natural, sort of organic evolution. You know, it's just been responding to opportunities as they've come along, really. Lewis, again, is a, is a natural born in front of the camera. He really likes performing. We do singing and dancing for the, our, the, for the talent show. We do, we do, we make props. We also make props for the panther. Careful. This is our trophy, which is also which is also going to be used for the panto pantomime. Wings for the goose. Yes, yeah, wing, yeah. wings for the goose, but also for the pantomime. They are the golden egg. So, what are these? Boxing, boxing glass, boxing, boxing glass. We very much um, want people to know that this is a celebration of learning disability, that it's about the guys and girls performing it, really. They put themselves forward, uh, and it, that's a really nice aspect of the pantomime. Whereas they r just do what they want to do and are completely free without me directing them. It is a magical place to work. I work around the most truthful uh, people that celebrate life every single day of the week.